using the default gateway. The default gateway is an important concept to understand. It is the nearby router on your network that connects the local host to other networks. If a packet needs to be sent to a remote host, it will first determine that the host is on a net remote network and then forward the packet to the default router or gateway. The router will then forward it to the next hop. Each router will forward the packet until it gets to its final destination. Look at a name resolution. A commonly used service is DNS and WINS, which are used for naming resolution. If you have problems with naming resolution, it could cause problems with the host connection to another host. When discussing name resolution when you are on the network or surfing the internet, you don't usually type in an IP address. Instead, you type in the name, and the name is automatically translated to an IP address. While host and LM host files are the first form of naming resolution used and is not generally used on today's networks, it is still a very useful tool in troubleshooting. If someone is having problems with name resolution, don't forget to check the host and LM host file since these settings will override information given by DNS and servers. Domain Name System, DNS, is the de facto standard for naming resolution and is the same naming resolution used on the internet. With DNS, there are top-level names such as .com, .edu, and .org. There's also country top-level names such as .us, .ca, and .uk. However, there are new top-level domains uh, introduced from time to time. When examining DNS, one should also discuss a fully qualified domain name, or FQDN. An example of an FD, FQDN is www.google.com. In this example, .com is the top-level domain, Google is the second-level domain, and www is the specific resource being accessed. Windows Internet Name Service, WINS, is considered a legacy naming resolution system, but is still accessible with a Windows 7 system. Eventually, WINS will disappear. This is a good time to discuss Universal Naming Convention, or UNC. An example of a UNC is backslash backslash computer name backslash share. In this example, the two backslashes represent to the computer that you are accessing a specific computer. The computer name represents the actual host or computer name, and the backslash share represents a shared folder on that computer that you are accessing. When accessing a UNC, the computer name can be resolved to an IP address through WINS or DNS. Network and Sharing Center. Network and Sharing Center provides real-time status information about your network. It can be used to configure and manage your network connections, including managing your wireless networks, the type of connections you have, and the level of access you have to other computers and devices on the network. It can also be used to help troubleshoot network, network connectivity problems by providing detailed information about your network in the network map. The Network and Sharing Center provides a central location to manage your network resources. The bottom line here, for a computer running Windows 7 to communicate with other hosts, it will need connection to and communication over the network. Therefore, you need to know how to connect the computer and configure the TCP IP properties. Since you have a basic understanding of TCP IP networks, including addressing, uh, since you have a, a basic understanding of TCP IP networks, including addressing, default gateway, and name resolution, you need to look at how to configure Windows to connect to the network. This is an excellent place to open up the network interface settings to examine the IP addresses, subnet mass, default gateways, and DNS and WIN settings. 
You should also examine Network and Sharing Center, which did not exist in Windows XP, but does exist in Windows Vista and Windows 7. The Network and Sharing Center can be used for troubleshooting, which shows if you're connected or not, and if your interfaces are enabled or not. In the IP configuration box, there is also an option for alternate configuration, which comes active when selecting Obtain IP Address Automatically. You'll see a new tab up there called Alternate Configuration that will open up, which comes in handy if you have users who are bringing their laptops home and using their home network, which assigns IP addresses dy dynamically using THCP. But in the workplace they're using a static address so that you could put a static address in the alternate configuration and obtain automatically on the general tab and their system will work in both their home and their office. Here's a dialog box which you would use to enter static IP version 6 addresses. To make your computer more secure, Windows 7 is designed to run only the services that you need to run and disable those services that you do not need. This would include allowing your computer to be seen on the network and file and print sharing. With the introduction of the Network and Sharing Center, Windows used the concept to run only those services and applications that are necessary and disable everything else. Within the Network Discovery and Sharing Services, you can enable Network Discovery for file and printer sharing, public folder sharing, and media streaming. When you access a remote computer, you will access the computer by address or by name, which is translated to an address using DNS or WINS. What most people don't realize is that when a host usually communicates over a network, it has multiple connections working in the background. Each of these connections are processed by a process, service, or program. To identify which packets belong to a network service or program, a host uses ports. The use of ports has been around for years. As any technician or administrator, users need to understand how ports are used. In addition, it's important for you to know the common ports used. Remember knowing that common ports are expected on multiple Microsoft CompTIA and Cisco exams. It also comes in handy when configuring firewalls, including the firewall that comes with Windows. To find out the ports currently listening or established on your PC, open a command prompt and type netstat space minus a. This will give you a complete list of which ports are open on your computer. It's, it is important for you to know what is normal to be listening and established and what is abnormal. While networks can be simple or complex, there are several tools which are invaluable when troubleshooting network connectivity problems. No matter how complex the network is, you should always follow a troubleshooting methodology which will help you quickly isolate and pinpoint the problem. Up to this point, you should have a basic understanding of networking and know how to configure a system to connect to a network. This continues the discussion on troubleshooting. Since network issues can be complex, there are multiple tools included within Windows, including IP Config, Ping, Tracert, Path Ping, Netstat, Telnet, and NS Lookup. This section is an excellent place to review using troubleshooting methodology.